Aloha everybody and welcome back to part 2 of Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake Leon Story The first story of Leon that is Last time we collected three medallions and we met up with after meeting up with Claire and making it to the Raccoon Police Department and meeting up with Marvin Renault. So now we're gonna go proceed. Alright. Head into that elevator. Button. I love this game so much. Alright. So this is an underground area. There's a pylon. Okay. Let's check under the ground. What do we have here? Hand grenade. Equip on the inventory screen to use. Guaranteed to kill enemies within this blast radius. Can be used to counterattack by pressing the LB when you are caught by an enemy, but its effectiveness is greatly reduced. Hand grenade. A hand grenade that disperses lethal metal fragments and destroys its surroundings on detonation. Alright. Good call. <coughs> Change equip sub weapon by holding the LB and pressing the control pad. Let's see here. Shows your knife, your grenade, and your flashbang grenade. I'm gonna use the knife from now on. Hey, what is this thing for? Hmm. I'm gonna have to find out later. Sure is dark in there. Door is locked from the other side, that's for sure. I'd say we go back upstairs for now. Alright, folks. What the? In the world is that thing? You recognize that monster? That war? I don't know who that is. Can't even tell. Okay. Hold the A button to move that cabinet out of your way. Okay, we have to find a way out, still. But before we head into this control room, let's go over there. Oh wow. We got nitrogen gases everywhere blocking the path. That's it. That counts as a dead end, so let's go in there. This oh my god! What the We have a boss battle. This guy's gonna be very annoying. Who is this mysterious guy? He's got a, a pipe on his left arm. Whoa. Let's splash bang that punk. I'm gonna switch to my shotgun. Yeah, that works. By the way, I'm out of bullets. I need to go find some. Oh. More grenades! Haha! <laughs> and another herb. Alright. I'll have to fight you, Burke. His name is William Burke. This is the main villain. Are you shooting the eye might help? Oh, darn it. To get some more bullets. Red herb. Combine it. Ouch! Yeah, he slams you with a pipe, which is annoying. Heck. Yeah, the eye is just disappointing. Oh, 
<laughs> did you see how? Did you see how Birkin did? He just fell into the water, and he screamed like ah. <laughs> And the ladder just appeared. Okay, good folks. Now that the ladder is lowered, we're gonna go climb up there. Hmm. What's in there? Another earth. Let's see here. What else? Oh, uh, let's see here. It's already done. Let's look in that locker. Got more gunpowder. Nice. Let's reload. Get on the stairs. It's the, probably the third floor. What you gotta do is push that lever down. What is the lever for? Moving the bridge. To the empty position. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Is that guy the main villain? William Birkin. He's a doctor who was working with Wesker. He was making a virus. He gave Wesker the progenitor virus. To make him stronger. And we got a hip pouch. A booyah! Awesome! And another typewriter. But for now, I'm probably going to put this wooden board in the box. Okay, first aid spray. I'll put all of them in there. Just for safekeeping. That's all. Anyway, folks. Climb on the ladder. This leads to the parking lot. Impressive. Oh, look. Looks like we need a card for it. Damn. Need a key card. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry. That information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Obtain the parking hey, garage key I'm not card. done talking to you. Oh, it looks like we ran into this mysterious woman after getting run over by a zombified Cerberus. A zombie dog, that is. The woman's name is Ada Wong. Yep. That's her. He was trying to ask questions to Ada. <laughs> Let's go into this area. 
What do we have here? Blue herb. A blue herb native to the Arclay Mountains. It can be used to remove toxins from your body. Those blue herbs cure poison. Let's mix it. Mixed herbs. G plus R plus blue. The, this three, this blends of, okay, hold on. This blend of three different herbs fully heals and restores. Plus, it reduces damage taken and guards against poison for a short period. Nice. Recommend you doing that from now on, folks. Now let's look inside. We got some high-grade gunpowder, yellow. Combine with gunpowders to make shotgun shells. We'll combine two of these to make mag ammo. I'll have to use it just in case. By the way, those enemies are called servers. These guys are going to be very annoying. To They're going to attack you. They'll bite you. They'll run and lunge onto you by pinning you to the ground and biting your face. Hate those guys. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, let's go check our map and see. Now that we're after the kennel, let's get in there. Oh, this is the morgue. Gotta hold the A button. We have to find some keys. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations, found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was no, uh, a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Wow, that's a lot of deaths. Alright, let's pull another one. What have we here? See, look, it's a red herb. Oh, nice. Okay, let's... Oh my god! Cockroaches! What the heck are those things? Yeah, they used to be enemies in the original Resident Evil 2. But in this one, they weren't enemies. <laughs> Let's keep look, keep opening up those things. Oh my god. That's a corpse. No. Don't push it back in. Just pick up the flashbang grenade. Alright. Might want to tear out those limbs. Nothing you can do to reload. Because out of handgun ammo. Nope. Nothing in there. Let's look in there. Empty. Oh, that's another corpse. Alright. And whenever you pick up a key, something mysterious would happen. Oh! Oh my god! What the heck is that? Let's test out that grenade onto that zombie. Boom! Right, you got a key. Ah! Oh my God! What the fuck? That's a jump scare. I knew it was gonna happen. Back up. 
Let's test that uh, grenade. Boom. How'd you like that, loser zombie? <laughs> We're out of here. For now. This is missing. It appears that we need to get a crank for that thing. I need to check my map. Let's go to let's go to that area that we haven't been. But first, let's take a look at this key. Let's jam it. Diamond key. A diamond shaped key. Okay. That's nice. Is that a wanted poster or something? Hmm. That's the parking lot. Let's go inside. What have we here? What's this? Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol card 7439. Details. Bent key. No longer usable, but can still open the car, store, and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. You have a good call. Let's take a look at this box. A tin storage box. Let's see what's in there, shall we? There's something inside. Open this up. So that it gives you a key. A well-worn key. So let's examine it. Car key. The ignition car key for a car. Its blade is bent. Oh, wow. You have to be nearby a car to press the unlock button. Alright. Message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy boys and girls, it's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today I wanted to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for talk practice. Well, that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so don't just, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. Yeah, there's a zombie. He's gonna attack me. By the way, out of bullets. Shit. Probably use my knife. Probably need to use my knife for now. Hold on. Hold on just a minute, guys. I'm gonna equip my... Where's my knife? Oh! I must have used my knife... Used up all my knife. Get out of my way! You stupid and annoying zombie! Buzz off! Please use that diamond key. My god, I need boy ammo. A roll film? Another one? Seriously? Let's go into that area. Okay, got some more shotgun shells. That's fine with me. Okay then. Oh my god! Son Good of a shot. bitch! <laughs> I can't- I can't seriously believe that. Alright, we got him the- by the police car. Uh, it's- Salmon. Beep beep. Open the trunk. So that it opens up and gives you a gun stock for the Methoda. A custom part for the Methoda that allows the gun to fire three rounds per 
pull of the trigger. We will have to combine this one. Yes! Nice. 24 shot capacity 9mm polymer frame handgun. Non standard issue gun with problems that make it impractical for the general public. We have no use for that key. So, yeah. Fully healed. Nice. Feel much better. Oh, this is a shield icon. This reduces damage. How cool can it be? But by the way, we should probably go over to that door. Those zombie dogs can be very annoying if you're not careful. Ooh, it seems that the door is totally locked. How locked can it be? Yeah, that door's locked. It's locked from the other side. But right now, I'm gonna go up there. Uh-oh. I think that's a dead end. Let's open up. That's locked too! I mean, what the heck? Is a door locked? Yeah, I don't want to be fooling around for sure. But I'm gonna keep checking my map sometime. Oh come on. Oh, the ladder. That's right. Hmm. Let's get back to the parking lot from now on, okay, folks? Oh, no, no, no. That's not it. There's another area. I think this leads to the jail cell. Good. More ammo. How oh, nice. Come on. There's a, a a zombie over there. Probably playing possum with me. Lock from the other side. Oh my god! Do the right thing. Stay out of trouble. Okay. Oh. Oh. Looks like it needs power. They're all locked. What the heck? Hello. Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No, no, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. <laughs> he's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. <laughs> Same thing to him, I guess. I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh 
Who is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. Oh my god. Poor Ben. Got killed by a mysterious monster. Crushed his skull, literally. Okay, let's read this one. No, no. Show power panel. The power panel is out. Can the person in charge of it please take care of it ASAP? I assume everyone knows, but since the jail's power panel is old as hell, we're going to need those custom power panel parts no one makes anymore. There should be a few in the generator room. I don't know. I got word that there's only one of those power panels parts in the generator room. The guy that's here to fix the bell in the clock tower should have another. So someone swipe. I mean, ask nicely for it, please. Find the power panel parts. Oh, what do we got here? A tool. A metallic crank-like object. Wonder what it is. Let's check it out and see. A square crank! A crank that belongs to something with a square-shaped slot. Oh, cool! <laughs> Let's examine this roll of film. Film 3F locker. An undeveloped roll of film. Three-floor locker is written on it. How oh, nice! Now then. Let's open this up. Uh, what in the world? I know. Ben's toast. Is that some sort of tyrant or something? I think it's probably, probably William. But in the original Resident Evil 2, when you first see Ben for the first time, that embryo, that G embryo came out of his chest. Uh oh. Look in there and see what we got there. We've already been there. Too bad. <laughs> well, nevertheless, now that we got that that square crank, we're gonna go back in there. This area where we shot those zombified dogs. These zombified Dobermans, they'll come attack you. And they can go through the hole for all they care. Okay. Place this square crank over there. Turn it left by rotating left so that the door opens up. Inside. That's a uh, gunpowder. More shotgun shells. Awesome. Let's see. Box electronic part. A box containing an electronics part. Let's examine it. You gotta find that tape. Okay. Open it up so that it gives you an electronic part. A small electronic part. Let's examine it. A power panel part. A custom part for a power panel. Oh, I think that's one of them. So, let's go there. Oh, 
Forget it, I don't need that. Alright. Let's see what we have here. A power generator. I wonder what this is for. You have a second one. You no. Know, third. Too much power. Okay, this is going to be a crazy, pu annoying puzzle. Don't you think? Let's see here. I should. What is this one for? That's too high. Too high. Nope. There! There we go! Oh, Lord have mercy! Now we got servers coming by to attack me! They're coming out of the- They can come through the- climb on the fence? Seriously? These guys can climb on the fence? Those dogs? What's this? Another herb. Ooh yeah. Now let's get the heck out of here. God. Four dogs. Yeah, shotgun is really necessary. Okay. Probably, probably need to check my map, by the way. Definitely need that map. Ah, yeah, right. Oh my Holy god! Shit. You scared the living crap out of me! I did not see that one coming! Oh my god! More dogs! to me run away Leon run away probably need to go back and get my map let's see here it's in it's in there police station basement floor one map hmm Looks like I'm going to have to go over there. Hey, would you kindly leave me alone already? Got other things to do. this take you? Back to the R main floor of the RPD department. Oh nice. Thanks. Thanks for the shotgun shells. What's this? A blue herb. Booyah. Okay. I'm gonna have to put the red jewel in there. grade gunpowder yellow handgun bullets 
mag ammo. 0.50 AE mag bullets. These are the most powerful rounds on the market for semi-automatic pistols. Electrical part. That's another one? Let's examine this one, shall we? Fuse. Break room hallway. An electric fuse. Break room hallway shutter is written on it. Alright. Let's use this one for now. There are Light on. Oh, bowler hat? What the heck? Oh my god, it's. The zombies! Oh my god, this, this thing really scares me! The world! What's that for? It's like a lot of zombies trying to attack me. Go away! How would you like flashbang grenade, jerk? Ooh. Okay, make sure you place that fuse in there. We got a knife! Yay! Too bad Elliot zombified. Shit. That's the guy who got ripped in half last time. Come on, zombies. Go away. To worry about you, man. Let's see here if I can check my map. There's a hydrant. Okay. Now it's time to check my map. Probably need to get to the fire escape right now. <laughs> Buzz off. That's where the plank is. Wooden boy. Thanks. I needed that last time. All right. Okay, the boy. The shotgun. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. These zombies never learn to stop, do they? I think we're back to RPD. Okay. Well, it's a very good thing. I got the key. Hmm. Key. Where does this lead to? We gotta get to the West Hall. the top on the second floor to the library. Now that we got that crank. Let's see here. No. That's that's the wrong one. Need some sort of back there. Oh my god! No, not those guys again! Ah! Are those liquors? Man, why are liquors this annoying? Again? You again? I thought I killed you last time. Well, let's not worry about him anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Alright, buddy, you can go forget yourself. I don't care. I don't really care. I really don't want to risk that. But, get to the lounge and then the living room. That's cool. Okay, use it. What over here? You got more gunpowder. I have no use for the diamond. Get rid of it. What's in there? A laundry room. What does this give you? Another portable stick. It's this again. I'm gonna do it one last time. No, no. Let's try again. This is. This is so annoying! Let's see. One, two, no. Try again. Mm-mm. That's wrong. No, uh. Whoops. Nope. Man, I almost got it right. Yes! Booyah! We got another square! The spare key! Excellent! Excellent! Alright, let's examine this one. Oh, the same thing. We have to go to the weapons locker room. No. That's the friggin' liquor that I killed last time. I'm gonna head down there, downstairs. But before I, I am downstairs, before I go to that locker room, we're gonna place that film in the dark room so that it gives you a third floor locker. The one I just knew last time in part one. All right, time to go. Oh my god! What oh, liquors? You are seriously getting on my nerves, man. Good riddance, pal. Good riddance. I'm afraid. No. Gotta get to the records room. Right. Put it here. One, zero, three. What does that give you? Another knife. Two, oh, three, and that gives you another hip pouch. Hurrah! That's what I like it. <laughs> Some more combat knives. Guess we won't be coming back anymore. But right now, we're gonna head over there to the operation room. Going. 
Oh wow, we, it appears that we need a heart key. What the heck? Yeah. Ah! yeah. These guys really know, know when to learn. Those annoying zombies. But from now on, I should probably go check out my map. Mm-hmm. Probably need to get to the waiting room. Probably should. Or after we go to the main hall. What is that curse? What the? Takes three hits per shotgun. Dang. Out of bullets that makes no darn sense it's so annoying okay let's do a little combination first why don't we wrong. That was a good guess, but that's wrong. Probably need to go, let's see here. I'm gonna use that crank. Put it over there so that this door can open up. What is this lead to? There's a heart. This is where the chief's office at, is at. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Let's check down the basement. The third floor. No, no, no. The first one that is. Okay, we have a zombie. By the way, I'm so out of hope. Place this wooden, wooden plank on the window so that the zombies will not enter. Got some more gunpowder and get rid of this one. Reload, please. Okay, come on. Got mag ammo. We don't have any magnum bullets. And nor do we have this. We don't have the club key or the heart key. That doesn't even make any darn sense. the window okay pick up that wood let's see here what's this and seriously what is it ah. better late than ever I suppose Is this is the east storage room? I mean, wow. More blue herbs. Oh, what's this? A large gear. A rusty old gear. It looks like it belongs to some machine or another. Whoa. Uh oh. Zombies. Get away from me. Ah, that's another zombie. I'm probably going to use that knife. Yeah. Got 
knocked his foot off. Was that two of them? And now he's dead. Ha. Huh. That'll show them. That'll show them who's boss. Eh. No, nothing here. Let's check on another area. Door's locked from the other side. No. Nope. Okay. Let's see here. Probably need to go to the balcony. It's raining. Why is it raining all of a sudden? Oh, we got another blue herb. How cool. Oh, ouch. The ladder was broken. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh. Well, this is a water valve. I'm really curious if the pipe's missing. We're on the roof. And there's a fire nearby. Let's go pick up some more of this. More of our bullets. Right, you gotta reload. So that we make room Get in there. Okay, next herb, R plus blue. This blend of two different herbs removes toxins, plus it reduces damage taken and guards against poison for a short period. That's cool. Oh, that's blocked. So it seems that we have to go down the stairs. I wish I could slide on railings, but no. What's that? Is that a monster? Or something? Okay. Alright, here we go. A liquor! Are those pumps? You gotta push it to the left. You gotta take care of those zombies coming out of the door. What the hell? Yeah, that's right. Game into their heads with shotgun. Probably would help. Okay, now that we move left, let's go back up. And turn this water valve over there. Pull that lever to the left. Pull it down. Turn it on so that it can put out the fire. There we go. The water's out. Nice. Totally nice, Leon. But well, let's go and proceed, shall we? <laughs> what does this give you? More gunpowder and more shotgun shells. Oh, booyah! Okay. Nothing else. Just a save room. A club key! A fancy looking key. God. I'll have to make room for it. There we go. Let's examine this bad boy up. It's a club shaped key. Kinda looks like a clover, but it's not. It's like the four leaf clover, right? Kinda remind me of the anime Black Clover. One of the best anime ever. Anybody ever seen it? I did. Uh, 
Alright, now that we got the club key, let's carry on. Uh oh, what is that guy? It's Jesus a Christ. It's a mysterious monster. Same monster. That's a different monster who killed Ben. I think it's a a tyrant. His name is Mr. X, by the way. And no matter how many times you shoot him a bunch of times, you cannot kill him. This guy's really annoying. He'll give you a jump scare. I mean, he's like the nemesis from Resident Evil 3. Well, I digress. Let's see if I can check my map. Okay. Definitely not gonna worry about that that brute right now. He's super strong. He looks like that big tyrant from Resident Evil One. Oh look. That's Marvin, who's now zombified. Ah! Marvin! I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. Yeah. You didn't have a choice, Leon. You didn't really have a choice, man. You'll have to stop the zombie outbreak. Okay. okay, use the club key so that you can unlock the door. The club door. What does this lead to? The records room. Got gunpowder. And what's this? A tool. Long, thin tool of some sort. Let's see what it is. A mechanical jack handle. A handle for a mechanical jack. Cool. Totally awesome, folks. Alright. Now that we got that that tool. Oh, we can't use that up. We don't have a heart key. Okay, but seriously, that better not be that Mr. X. Staring the daylights out of me. I'm gonna check my map. Okay. Let's see here. Da, da, da. <laughs> this leads to the observation room. Oh, I think I get it now. <laughs> Go away! Zombie bozos? You get more shotgun shells from now on. Yikes! No, 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 not Mr. X again! Seriously, get away from me! Yeah. Hold on. This guy could go anywhere he wants. That's for sure. the library. Hope Mr. X doesn't show up. Okay. Use the mechanical jack handle to lower the 
the bookshelf by moving it out of the way so that you can push it. Okay. Come on, push. Let's make sure we use that bookshelf as a bridge, like a bridge. Let's make it like a bridge. I wonder what's in there. Eh, it's probably nothing in there. Okay, climb up. Get up, Leon. Climb up there. Open. Now we're in the third floor. We're definitely gonna have to find that our power tool. <laughs> oh my god! You scared the living crap out of me, man! You up. Okay. Now we get to the east storage room so that I can open the door from the other side. I think that works. Yay. Now let's get to the clock tower. Oh, you again. Repair plan. Location, police station west side clock tower. Due to the high cultural value of the bell, I'm calling a specialist in to make the repairs. We'll go over the details once they're on the scene, but in the meantime, I'll take steps to secure the bell since the yoke is threatening to break. What's this? Oh, I'm... Place that large gear up there. Place the gear over there so that the bottom the stairs to the... will open up. Mr. X doesn't come in there and scare me. Oh, what's this? This seems missing. Okay. Get on the second floor to the clock tower. Hey, what the heck is that? Is that a box? We got a smoke here. A rusty old gear. It looks like it belongs to some machine or another. Let's just let's read it. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. Well, who cares? <laughs> let's see if it fits there or not. Too weak. Okay. And it's probably weak. I'm gonna have to check my map. Right now I need to reload. Let's get in there. Let's see. That's a large gunpowder. A large 
extra quantity of gunpowder makes double the amount of ammo compared to the regular gunpowder. I don't have enough room for it. Hmm. I'm going to use that for now. Okay. That's good. I'll gotta get back upstairs. Get that big gear in there. Oh wow. I think Mr. X came inside. Put that big gear up there. Put it over there. The gears are and the machines turn on. Bing bong, bing bong. And the bell hits the box. And the bell falls down, down so that the uh, electrical box. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. <laughs> All right. He just said, "Hope I don't have to write a report on this." It's pretty funny. All right. The bell fell. The bell falls down and is finally knocked down, so that the electrical box will be dropped. Okay, there's another one. Now let's examine this bad boy up. It's another electronic part. Oh, cool. A power panel part. Same thing. Now that we got all the parts, obtain the parking garage key card. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh my god, it's Mr. X again. And he's gonna be chasing me. If he gets near me, he's gonna slug me in the face. I mean, wow, this guy kind of reminds me of Smoker from One Piece. I digress. When he slugs Luffy. I mean, Smoker slugs Luffy in the face when he fought him in... Let's see here. There. Uh, we're out of here. I'm going to check this, do the safe thing one last time. Probably should. I'll probably need to check my map right now. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll have to be in the first floor.
Okay. Still gotta get to the east hallway. Right now, we're going to deal with Elliot. He's finished. More zombies coming to wipe me out. Like a whole lot of zombies in there. I need to put some more items in there, like flashbang grenades. That's good. I'll check my map. I'm gonna go back to the parking lot and get back to the jail cell where Ben got killed by a monster. The jail. Let's get back to the jail cell. Oh no! Hey, that. Get away from me! Where'd you come from? Oh, he just grabs me in the shoulder and bites me? Ha! Huh. Serves you right, pal. that pop up playing zombie. Why is it that zombies have to play possum all the time? It makes no sense. Oh wow. Put the panel, power panel parts in. We gotta do that puzzle. That's gonna be a. It's gonna be really intense. Nope. Come on. That works. And the cell opens. 
pick up this Ben's memo. The station's swarming with monsters. Even I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant, the ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in their utmost secrecy. To think that, this, that the thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. A first aid spray next to the toilet. There we got. Interview transcript, but that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I just find the way too coincidental. Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship Umbrella set up. Come on, Annette. Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus and the. Where did you hear hear about this? And that big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now you are going to talk to me, or are you? This interview is over, bitch. <laughs> Then we got our parking garage key card. A key card for opening and closing the RPD parking gra garage shutter. Escape the parking garage. What are they after? Yeah. Where are they after? Ah! That's not good. More zombies coming after me. Pull down that lever. Okay. <gasps> no, 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 not the tyrant again. What the heck? Doesn't he know when to stop? Seriously. Give me a break. Faster. Oh. Out of my way. Jerk. Okay, gotta heal. But now is not the time right, to get out. Get off me! 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 I'm really out of bullets. Ah! Boom. Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. <laughs> Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. Let's get out of here. Oh. I'm seriously in caution right now. What Anna just said? This is a game. She just broke the fourth fourth wall. <laughs> And the t 
tyrant just destroyed the SWAT van? Oh, great. More zombies. Out, out of my way, zombie scum. Oh, I got two knives. Okay. Oh, zombies. Out of my face. Leave me alone already, you zombies. You freaks. Get out of my face! Stop fighting my legs! Man, you scum are so annoying. I need to get upstairs. But right now, I gotta find more ammo. The art room. Oh no. Chief's office. Okay. okay. Use that club key. No use anymore. Oh, don't examine. Discard it. What's in there? A box. An ornament box. Confiscation report. Date, August 14, 1998. Location, RPD 2 floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation? A suspicious man was found in the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. I know he had on him was confiscated. Remarks? It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hansen, age 39, city, resident, single. And a, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Left six, right two, left eleven. You remember this com this combination, folks? More gunpowder. Got more ammo. Awesome. Totally awesome, people. Let's check over there and see what we have here. And gun ammo. I mean, seriously, what the heck? Okay. Now that that's done, well, why don't we go back and get some more ammo? Go back to the east office. Probably need more ammo. Chiefs room. Okay, check your map. Alrighty then. I can check one more. The art room, we already been there last time.
Let's read that note one more time. Six, two, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, point two, point three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Booyah! What does this give you? Muzzle brake, a methoda. A custom part for the methoda that reduces recoil muzzle rise by redirecting propellant gas up and away from the barrel. Call it methoda. Okay, let's go. Should probably go back to the library and pick up some more ammo. But right now, we're gonna go up to the office. Okay. Keep rolling. Handgun ammo, that's right. My frames are going down. What? Let's see here. It's on the down floor. Oops. West storage room. Okay. Got to get to the star's office. One of the members of Star Team, including Chris, Jill, Barry, and Brad. Well, Wesker used to be a member of Stars, but he betrayed them. He betrayed everyone. What a maniac. Okay. Right. Now that we're back in here, why don't we go pick up some high grade at gunpowder? I have to check my map. Problem is, I have to check my map just so I can find some items. Hmm. Okay. I gotta get the item box. That red jewel. I wonder what it's for. Is he Leon limping in pain? He's in caution. The yellow or orange, that's caution. Get the red jewel. Let's examine this box. It's a bejeweled box. Jewels adorn the top of this beautiful box. There seems to be something inside. I wonder what it is. Let's combine it. Stars badge. A special badge for RPD Special Forces Div Division. Stars. Place the jewel in there so that the chest opens and it'll give you a stars badge. Maybe we'll let's examine it. It's not just a badge. A badge shaped USB connector. Totally cool, guys. Totally cool. Alright. Let's see here. Got... No, 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 no. This is the West. This is the West Star's office. What's 
look around for some more ammo. Come on. This gives you more ammo. Cool. Uh huh. This USB dongle key in there. Okay. No, don't pick it up. Use that computer. But by the way, while it's using it, I'm gonna have a little to do. Whoa, the door opens up. Okay. So, that's Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. That new flavor. Really good, folks. Anyways, let's get inside and see what we got. Lightning Hawk. 7 room capacity, 0.50 AE mag. Gas operated action, which is usual, unusual for a semi auto handgun. Gives it both power and accuracy. Better to stars members. Do my best to stars, buds. How are you all doing in that drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. But you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just give the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, August 29. The babes? Chris is a ladies' man. <laughs> Alright. Now well, let's get that hard drive. Mm hmm. This time, I'm going to go to the shower room. Oh, wow. I got the Magnum. Oh, cool. I'll get to the shower room, then to the hallway, and find some more ammo. Because I need some more Magnum bullets. That way, I can save it up for a while. For some boss battles. Okay. Yay. Okay. Oh, I need to get up the stairs and get the magnum. Okay, I'm gonna heal. No, I'm not. No, not yet. I'll use the first aid spray. I'm gonna examine this. Rockland Police Department 178332. Permit valid from November 1, 1997 through October 31, 1998. Holder must renew this permit no later than the date shown above. Property of RPD. If found, please return to RPD headquarters. Oh. Wow. Very awesome. Okay. I'm going to check in the operations room just so I can find more items.
There you go. Good. Gotta get the grenade. That's for sure. Ah! Oh my god! That's good. Now it's time to go back to Ada. Probably need to use it on some tougher enemies. gunpowder in there. More herbs. We don't do anything careless. I'm glad I got my knife back. Not bad. Let's see you handle this one. You bastard. Got that right. Guys caught me by surprise. Now that I kill those zombies, why don't we go back and see Ada? Man, Ada's beautiful. Alright, it's time to place that parking garage key card here. Oh. oh, the big door is open. Talk with Ada. Mixed herbs. I wonder what it is. This blend of three green herbs will fully restore your health. Shut up. Shut up. No. <sighs> oh, we're outside of the RPG. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Got that right, Ada. Oh, we're gonna head to the gun shop. This is where Kendo was. Wait for Ada. Roads out. Going 
going through that gun shop looks like the only way. I knew it. I agree with you, Ada. You're using a lock pick? To unlock the, the doors? What a mess. Yeah. What do we have here? Long barrel, W-870. A custom part for the W-870 that, that, that ups its max capacity to 8. Point, to eight. Greater muzzle velocity and less spread makes each shot extra powerful. <laughs> That's from the shotgun. Combine it. Custom part for, for the W-870 that ups its max capacity to 8. Greater muzzle velocity and less spread. It makes each shot extra powerful. Cool. Well, let's just look around for some more good stuff, shall we? Letter to the shopkeeper. Kendo, it seems like you've got your reasons for staying put, so I'll trust you to take care of yourself. Still, if things could get worse and your other arrangements don't work out, you know where to find me. I'll do everything I can. Jill Valentine. That was from Resident Evil 3. Don't move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you what? You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad. did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was a sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna... You to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. Yes, sir. Privacy. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Oh man, Kendo's daughter's been infected by a zombie. What the world? By the way, Let's get that can grenade. I wonder where it's located. Oh, on the shelf. <laughs> now, that, now that that's done, why don't we go go back to Ada? 
Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Yeah. Umbrella was the one that turns people into zombies. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. What? Annette Birkin is William Birkin's wife. And also, they have a daughter named Sherry Birkin. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Time to find Annette. Well After you. Gee, thanks. Okay, we're heading in the sewers. So disgusting. Sewers are nasty, guys. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. <laughs> yeah. So that's where the, the pharmaceutical company Umbrella was located. Underground. Is that an earthquake or something? I don't know. Can't really tell if it's an earthquake or not. That's one big alligator. Yeah. And there's a typewriter. Okay. Let's put this USB dongle key in there. So now, uh, let's combine this one. Get our mag ammo. But right now, I'm gonna go to the sewers. This is really long. Oh yeah. Down. <gasps> Again? Another earthquake. Not too late to turn back, Leon. No, it isn't. No Ada. chance. You're stuck with me to the end. She's right. You're stuck with me whether you like it or not, Ada Wong. Ugh. Ew! Ugh. Disgusting! You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Uh oh. Wait there. Leon, get out of there! A big alligator. Oh my god. When you get close to that alligator, you get eaten instantly. This says you are dead. What's I died. My first failure. If you run straight down the middle, you'll end up as Gator Chow. Move to the left or right to avoid ending up as dinner. <laughs> Can't believe I failed. Skip. Let's try this again. Right. Holy shit! Can say that again, bro. Gotta take the. Whoa! No! I said don't go to the middle! What the heck? Now I'm getting really fed up. Stay in this spot too long and you'll light it up as gator food. Oh, good hint. Thank you. Let's try again. Uh. 
Left side. Holy shit! Left side. Okay, good. Oh, this is annoying. Booyah! Need it out alive. Flammable gas. Shoot the tank. So that the alligator's head explodes. He's finished. Oh, he's Chew still moving. You overgrown son of a bitch. <laughs> that was pretty gruesome. What you said, Leon. Leon, I'm here. What the hell was? Just get up here. I can't believe I died twice. That's freaking annoying. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Very true, Ada. Very true. Uh -huh. I did make it out of one piece. In this elevator. Straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Wow. Who in the world are, oh, would ever sell viruses? Seriously, who sells viruses and turns them into zombies? Alright. Okay then. I'm gonna stop here for now, folks. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000 k I will see you in part 3. See you then.